I'm going to introduce our next speaker now, um, who is um, some chap you may have heard of called Doug Turnbull. Um, and he's going to be talking about something called Hello, Learning to Rank, um, which is a, a set of notebooks that help you to quickly develop learning to rank solutions on Solar or Elasticsearch. So, Doug, welcome to the party. Hello, LTR. So I am, you know, part of my personal mission is to make a lot of this information retrieval stuff really accessible to people uh, and not be something very mystical. And something we work on a lot at uh, Open Source Connections uh, is learning to rank, learning to rank training, learning to rank all kinds of stuff around learning to rank demos. And a part of that is been uh, a big part of that, and I think I gave a lightning talk on this last year at Haystack about a year ago, is this Hello LTR project. Now with Hello LTR, and this is the GitHub, O19S Hello LTR. With Hello LTR, we had a set of Jupyter uh, notebooks that basically go through the entire learning frank process from feature logging to model training to uh, deploying the model to a solar elastic search index and finally searching with that model. <laughs> And part of this is uh, a LTR client library, which has Solar and Elasticsearch clients, uh, and a lot of other helpers and things that are just kind of annoying to do with learning to rank. And part of this are the notebooks itself, themselves, which have, and I'm going to use Solar, uh, have a, uh, if you go to like Notebook Solar, there is a little folder for each collection. You can see we have FS Marco, for example, you can play with. TMDB, which is a very, everyone's, you know, open source connections favorite um, collection or test collection. We have a set of, under each one, we have uh, some solar configs for, uh, for this. Uh, and what you can do with this is, I'm gonna jump over to a terminal, is if you're in Notebook Solar, I can say, I can just turn, launch my solar with Docker Compose, and it's got a solar with a fairly stock configuration. You can see I launched a solar last time, last time on Hello LTR, I launched solar, and I started Jupyter Notebook, so not particularly the exciting parts of this. Um, and I'm just gonna walk through, I think this is really interesting, and I wanna talk about like, why did I do this? And I didn't do this necessarily because I think this is, you know, I'm doing anything particularly innovative. A lot of this stuff, a lot of people have done learning to rank, but what is really important is to make this stuff reproducible, to make this stuff accessible to, to folks and uh, to give people sort of uh, some, some basic building blocks on this one very important piece of the puzzle and that's learning to rank. Um, and people have been taking this stuff, including us, and, and making sort of little demos out of them to show clients what might be possible. Uh, a, a really simple um, learning to rank solution is something called SVM rank. SVM rank is a algorithm that literally just finds some weights for different features. So I'm going to go through this as a solar demo. And I'll just walk through these lines. And this is kind of a fun, fun thing to walk through. Um, so I'm. Um, would you mind, Doug, uh, just magnifying a little bit for us? Oh sure. I was terrified. My screen was not sharing. That's perfect. Thank you very much. Great. Thanks. Um, so you know we're going to import some basic things. We have a client. We have a solar an elastic client. The basic workflow and operations of learning to rank is the same across both search engines. Uh, we download a corpus and some judgments. In this case, the TMDB corpus. Uh, some binary judgments, uh, given some movie titles and what movies are relevant and not relevant um, to a data directory. Uh, again, it's not going to hurt anything to run those. We don't download it again. Uh, I'm not going to run this line to, I'm not going to trigger re-index, but uh, this will basically go and to whatever client this is. And in case of solar, it will do an up config of the TMDB directory. So if you go here, there is a TMDB directory under Notebook Solar, which has a, uh, whoops, I was wrong. There is somewhere in here a, I promise, a TO, maybe it's a solar config. It's going to up config 
uh, so the solar config uh, up to solar uh, using the, uh, the cloud up config commands. Uh, and then it's going to re-index. It's going to iterate over all these movies. Um, and we've taken this and we've used it on our blog. You saw I had an MS Marco um, data set available. There's all you could plug this in with your data set. Some people have been using this to build their own learning to rank demos for work. Of course, the next step you do in learning to rank is you want to experiment with some features. And features in learning to rank are uh, in Elasticsearch or Solar are the same queries that we might do manual relevant student for. So in this case, we're going to reset LTR for this index, sort of basically clear out everything. We're going to set up some features, one, two, and three, the BM25 of the title, BM25 over the overview field, and the release year. We go through that, and it's been created at Solar. So a feature set in Learning to Rank is just literally this data structure stored in Solar. And then we've, we've got to do this process where we take a, uh, a training set, or we, we take some judgments, uh, and in this case, we're going to pull them out of this file, data title judgments binary.txt. Should I come over here, title judgments.txt? And uh, you can see there's all these. This is kind of a, a classic learning to rank data set format, and we've annotated it with some comments where we have, uh, let's say, Christmas Vacation is a movie. Uh, and we have uh, one document that's a four, meaning it's the most relevant. And that is query ID 31. We have some marginally relevant documents. Maybe they're about Christmas or the holidays. And we have several documents that are completely irrelevant. So this is a little baby data set we can play with. And of course, our job is to turn this into something that looks like this where, uh, and this is a using seven features, where we have feature one, which might be the title BM25, which we saw before, its value for this movie. Feature two, the overviews BM25, its value the, like uh, for this movie, and then maybe the release date and so on. And that's basically what this does. We, we get the judgments from uh, the file, and we loop through each query's features. We load the judgments. Um, each This is just iterating for each query, get the query's judgments. We issue a query to, this is a different, uh, the query to actually log the query, which is confusing, to Solar to say, hey, pull back this training set. And you can see it's going to loop through here. And for each query ID, it's going to populate the training set. And I'll actually just dump this. You can see what it does at the very end. It's going to be a bunch of judgments that now have features associated with them. And you can see some of them have title BM25 scores. score. So these are the Rambo movies that where Rambo matches the title and Rambo matches the overview. And you can see the release year. Now, I'm not going to get in the weeds on how SVM rank works. It's basically a transformation before doing a, a linear SVM. Uh, there are a number of blog articles but at the end of at the end of the day, we run through this and we get uh, we do some transformations and things, and we basically train a model that's an SVM model, and we get basically a set of weights on this is the title weights, these are the body weights, and this is the the release year. And you can clearly see that you know obviously as you would expect the title BM. 25 score is, is very important. You know, there's a strong correlation. Um, and the model is basically going to be this times a normalized BM25 score in the title, plus this times a normalized BM25 score of the overview, plus this times a normalized uh, release year as their third feature. And uh, when we send this up to Solar, and here all we're doing here is building up a uh, Solar's linear model representation. We get each uh, we get a normalization for each each uh, fe each feature. So, for title, we sort of we have to end up with the mean and the and the standard deviation is. 
we have to do this for the overview BM25 score. So the mean tidal score is 2.65, the standard deviation is 4.34. Same thing with overview and same thing with release year. The, the mean release year is 1993, the, the standard deviation is 21. And these weights are that we saw up here for this kind of model are relative to, this is you get 0.4 if, uh, points for tidal if it's one standard deviation above the tidal. And finally, if we have the simple simple model, we can then issue a search and we can see some a Rambo uh, query search results come back. And you can see obviously with a simple linear model, we're gonna be, you know, it's not that sophisticated. We're gonna be strongly biased towards the title, which might mean we get some uh, irrelevant results here. I'm not sure this has anything to, oh, it apparently does have something to do with Rambo. And then finally, uh, finally, you know, first blood, which is very much a, an overview match. Um, this is the overview field down here. So this is just a fun little uh, fun little set of notebooks, and there's notebooks that use RankLib for doing gradient boosting, all to make the process of you plugging in your data, bringing your data to this, and experimenting with learning to rank a lot easier than having to stress out about uh, uh, going and writing all this code yourself. So with that, I will stop sharing and see if there's any questions. Thanks, Doug. Um, and let's see if there's anything in the, there's nothing in the Slack. Uh, it may well be, there'll be questions later come up and I'm sure Doug will be very happy to answer any of those on Slack. Um, and do check out the repo. Uh,